Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. For today's video, I have a new eyeshadow palette to try. You will have seen from the title, of course, that it's the Anastasia Fall Romance palette. This is the box packaging. I love this color. <laughs> it's like a deep purpley burgundy. Um, there, I don't know if you can tell, but there's like a texture on the box which is the same as on the palette itself so let me open this if i can i've already opened this but for some reason it's stuck now yeah you have the shades on the back too and it looks like this so we are back to the furry <laughs> packaging um but I don't, can you see how that texture it feels like an animal it's kind of creepy actually um i don't know what it's reminding me of like a horse or something <laughs> anyway i do love the color though and i love that it's called the fall romance palette because i love fall and it is fall i think I think yesterday was the first day of fall. I don't know. Anyway, so I'm fully in my fall era, if that makes any sense. And these are the shades. There's a plastic, which I will get rid of. But this looks so pretty. Yes, so I had to have this when I saw... Well, I saw like a sneak peek and then I was like, oh yes and then it came to Sephora fairly quickly. So I snatched it up. And this retails for $74 Canadian, which is, I think that's the most expensive palette from, that I've ever bought from ABH. I don't know. Maybe it's the Norvina, the big ones. But this says it's a provocative blend of 12 decadent eyeshadows, including seductive jewel tone metallics and rich neutral shades. Yeah, so right away, I love the shades of the mattes. They're very like grungy, like this green here and this shade leather. Yes, I'm very excited about this. So let's just try it. I'm going to try, I'm going to do one eye on camera because I'm kind of, I'm running late. <laughs> I have to leave my house. Um, so this will just be like a first impression. So it's not going to be like a full review of this palette. But yeah, let's just get into it. So what do I want to do? When I, usually with ABH shades, I see them in like quads, if that makes sense. So like... I would use these four shades together and these four and these four but of course you can do whatever you want that just makes it easier for me um to like color match i guess and i'm very drawn to the first four shades i think yeah so i will say there's no cream there's no like lid setting shade um and the transition shade that you know I would typically go for is this one so that's what I'm gonna use today there are no like that's the lightest matte in the shade in the palette so that's what I'm gonna do I forgot to put my eye primer on so every time I do my eyeshadow I use my Urban Decay primer potion so that's what I'm gonna do today I just apply like a really thin layer of this I also took out my NYX Glitter Primer. Let's see if I use this because I never use it. But I thought if I took it out, I would remember that I have it at least. So like I said, I'm going to go in with the shade Leather. This one here. With a big fluffy brush, I guess. This one from Luxie. The Large Eye Blending. Okay, yep, yeah, there's kick up in the pan as I expect with any <laughs> baby H palette really. So I don't know anything like about the background of this. 
I don't know if this is the same formula as their other palettes. I do have the Nouveau palette and the Rose Metals and I haven't tried them yet. <laughs> Which is why I'm making this video because if I don't try it, it'll just go in my drawer and then it won't be fall anymore and I'll be annoyed that I didn't use this palette. And that's the first shade. It is going on deeper than I expected it to maybe, but that's fine. I do like this kind of shade. It's like a muddy <laughs> taupe, I guess you would say. Yeah, so liking that so far. Um, then I want to go in with the shade Thorns, which is this nice, what would you call that? I don't know, like a murky green shade. <laughs> I think, let me swatch this, because it looks to be, maybe it's, I don't know, what's a matte? I don't know if like another shade got into it, because it looked like it had shimmer but that's what it swatches like. This is kind of giving me like subculture vibes, some of these shades at least, but with pops of, you know, more trendier, like this. This shade I'm seeing a lot in palettes, this like pinky lavender, and this looks kind of like a duochrome-y shade. Let's see. So I want a smaller brush to apply that because I don't want this to really be like a green look again because I feel like I'm doing a lot of green looks. So I'm going to go in with this little brush. This is a Luxie blending brush, the 237. I love this brush. And we'll pick, oh that shade has a lot of kick up if you can see that. This one I want to focus right in the crease, like I don't want to blend it out like I did the last shade. Am I too far away? I feel like I might be. Let's zoom you in a little and hopefully I stay in frame. So I did dip in again to that shade. Yeah, it's really easy to <laughs> to turn this palette. It's really easy to get like um, grungier looks than maybe you meant to with this palette because of the the shades of the mattes. But I do really like that look. It's just I am going <laughs> to get my nails done, and it's very early, so I'm not really trying to make this like a dramatic smoky eye or anything. Okay, loving that so far. Maybe I'll put a bit more like on the outer corner because this is the deepest shade I'm going to use. Yeah, I like that. It looks a little crazy right now, but I'm going to put shimmer on the lid so it doesn't really matter <laughs> if it's blended you know on this area okay nice so then i want to use the shade smoke which i like these shades are so it's like the kind of shade you can't really describe what it i don't know like a taupe or like a rose gold but it's very sparkly. It's almost duochrome-y. I'm sure the shade names are described somewhere, but I just don't really have time right now to look that up. But that looks really pretty. So I'm gonna do that on the, mostly on the whole lid, but I'm leaving the inner corner for the moonlight shade because that's just calling to me, this one. So let's do smoke first. Should I try the NYX glitter primer? I think I should. This might be a good test because 
that shade did have a lot of sparkle in it. Like, I just wiped it off with a makeup wipe. I guess you can't see on camera, but there's all like sparkles on my hand now. So let's use this. And I need to apply this with something. I'm going to use this, I think, or this. Just this little cheap brush from Forever 21, I think, when they were still a store here. And I'm going to use that much. I mean, you probably could just use your finger, but... Sorry, I had to clear my memory card. <laughs> but I'm still just blending this out with a brush because I'm assuming you want a really thin layer of that and then I'm going to go in with the shade smoke and I like to use a brush whenever possible because I have long nails and they don't you know fit where I want them to when I try and blend eyeshadow so let's see where oh no okay if you guys saw my shot my stash I did like a mini brush declutter and I pulled out brushes that I want to wash. I still haven't done it. <laughs> They're just in a pile to be washed. Oh my god. So my favorite brushes are in there. My favorite brush is to apply like um, metallic shadows I mean. But I might be able to get away with this one. This BH Cosmetics 112. This looks like a flat dense brush that I like so yeah again going in with this shade smoke which looks like I don't know beige in the pan but when I swatched it it looked very rose goldish so we'll see how this applies Ooh, I love it it's almost like wet Oh, it's really pretty. Um, I use this comparison a lot because it's just what I'm familiar with, but it's like the, um, the metallic row of shades in the Lunar Beauty Nude Prism palette. Um, how they're almost like creams, but they're very sparkly. Um, yeah, it's just because that palette is in my Panos eyeshadow. That's why I know that. Because <laughs> it's so opaque, this shade. It's covering a lot of what I did on the outer corner, but that's fine. I can go back in and deepen it up. But, okay, that's really pretty. I don't even know what this shade is because now that I applied it over the, the other mattes, it's looking more... Almost like it has green in it. I'm confused. I don't know, but I like it. So, and then for the inner corner, this might go a little weird, but I want to throw this in, the shade Moonlight. So let's swatch this one. Oh, that one feels not the same formula. It feels like drier. Okay, yeah, this is more like a topper and it does have like a pink a pink to purple shift. I feel like you can't see that on camera. Oh here. You see how? Ooh, okay. Okay, yes. So this is more like meant to be a topper, I would assume. But I'm going to try and use it for my inner corner and I'm going to use this Aveda brush that I always use for my inner corner. It's actually a lip brush but whatever. <laughs> Doesn't matter. I don't know how well this is going to pick up on a brush though because it's so dry. Okay, it's going on nicely. Oh yeah. Okay, I thought I was filming, but I wasn't, so I'm not quite sure where I was. <laughs> but I was saying how this shade looks very purple on my eyelid. 
Um, and it probably would have been better with these purpley tones here, but I still like how it looks. I like that shade for an inner corner because it does have like a pink, purple, kind of galaxy-ish look. Um, so yeah, liking that too. Um, it is just like a drier, like don't expect it to be the same formula as, it wasn't the same as this smoke shade and it doesn't look the same as the other shimmers. Let's just watch them. Yeah, so even this shade Fireside is more like the first shade, like a wet kind of shimmer. That's really pretty. And Crown, Crown is still has like more base oh these are super shiny and midnight oh that is very deep that one looks very sparkly in the pan but it's more like a satin when you blend it out And the other, yeah, the other shades in here, so Mulberry, it um, looks more like a satin shade. And this shade, Ember, mm, kind of looks like a matte with sparkle. But let's, let's see, because I could be off. So this is Mulberry. Oh, that feels very dry. Yeah. Mm, maybe that one is also a matte with sparkle. That's Mulberry. Yeah, these shades are like throwing me off. They don't swatch or feel like they look like they would, if that makes any sense at all. <laughs> and then Ember. Okay, Ember feels the same formula as mulberry so they're like mattes with shimmer but um ember seems to have like different colors of shimmer like green and gold maybe okay so those are all the shades with shimmer other than the two that are on my eye the rest are wait did i do that right did i it's not Swatch Divine. I didn't Swatch Divine. This one, what was I thinking? Ooh, that one's like this. That one's like a shiny, satiny shade. These two are the most like metallic, like foiled, um, and smoke was like that too. So a lot of different formulas in this palette. And I think they're new formulas because at least, you know, considering I haven't even used the newer ABH palettes in my collection yet, this seems new to me compared to their other palettes. But let's remove those swatches. Okay, what was I doing? I need to do my lower lash line. So I'm going to go in with this kind of smaller pencil brush with the shade Leather, the one I put in my transition. And just put a bit of that on the outer half, I guess, of my lower lash line. Can you see what I'm doing? Maybe if I use this mirror. I do really like that shade. Um, yeah, cause it's, is it cool? I feel like it's more like a neutral cool. Like sometimes cool tones like this are too gray on me, but this one is nice. And then, I think I just wanna bring that moonlight shade um, into the lower lash line too. 
I hope you can see. If I wasn't in a rush, I'd probably spray this kind of shade just to get the shimmers to, you know, stick down more because it is more like a topper, like I said, but it's still working out pretty well. Ooh, I like this. Okay, that's fun. So, I was thinking I might want to deepen up the outer corner, but I don't think I do. I think I'm just going to go back in with the brush that I used and just make sure there's not like a line here, you know? But I will say, once you put the NYX Glitter Primer down, you can't really <laughs> blend anymore because it's doing what it's supposed to and, you know, keeping your glitter on. Okay, so there's the look. I'm gonna do the other eye off camera and come back for my final first impressions. Okay, so I finished my look. Um, I used a new mascara today, which you would have seen, I think, before this. <laughs> I don't know anymore. Oh, I'm filming way too many videos at once, but yeah. I do like how the eye look turned out. I'm kind of regretting the fact that I tried the NYX glitter primer because this was also kind of a first impression, even though I'm sure I've used this maybe three times max before filming this video, I feel like it made it hard to blend. Um, Cause usually when I do an eye look, I just slap on the color and then at the end I refine it and then I couldn't really do that since I had already applied this. So I feel like the blend on this eye is really not good at all. <laughs> like it's looking really patchy with that um, shade thorns. But now I don't know if it's because it got mixed in with this. So we'll have to keep trying out this palette some more but I do love the color story. I will say if you're expecting the shimmers in this palette to all be like that metallic foiled look, it's not going to happen. Even though they might look like that in the pan, once you touch them you'll feel that they're more like a drier topper formula. And there are two what I consider to be mattes with shimmers. I don't know if they're meant to be, but that's really what it seemed like they were. Mulberry and Ember. And I don't know how I feel about that. Because those are good, um, like deepening shades for me, but because they have shimmer in them, I don't know if I'd want to put them like in on my outer corner. You know what I mean? So yeah, again more to come with this palette, but I do like how the look turned out. I really like the Moonlight shade, but I also don't think it's very unique considering all the palettes I have. Like I've seen that shade many times. Anyway, that's my first impressions on the ABH Fall Romance palette. Let me know if you guys will be picking this up, what you think about it, is it not for you? Is it too expensive? <laughs> because, uh, yeah, it's getting up there, the prices of these palettes. So I hope this video was helpful. And if you liked it, <laughs> give it a like. Am I forgetting anything? I don't know. But if you liked it, give it a like. Subscribe if you haven't already. Oh, let me know if you want to see more looks with this, because I can do that too. And yeah, I'll see you in my next video. Bye.